have to take all of this out. Syngonium Albo, you look how freaking long she is. All right, change of plan, folks. I'm dreading moving this couch. We are going to take off the baseboard. I would like to say some last words to this very beautiful carpet. I have decided not to move these just yet because today is Friday and the flooring guy is not coming till Thursday and I'm probably painting, no today's not Thursday, today's Friday, sorry. So I'm probably painting tomorrow or Sunday so I'll hold off moving these until I need to, like absolutely need to. So that will probably be tomorrow or Sunday but anyways. I'm not gonna worry about moving them right now. They're doing just fine and they're happy. So I'm just trying to delay that step as much as possible. But that is why I have not moved them just yet and they're still behind me. I know, I know, I know. So for day two, I am going to work on this wonderful wallpaper. It is beautiful, but it's just not my style. <laughs> and I am going to try to take it off with a spray with warm water and a spatula just to kind of um, chip it off, I guess. And I have the hot water in there, there's my spray, and then I'll be using these guys to help me scrape it off. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm not a fan of wallpaper, but gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, and quite a while later, <laughs> I have successfully taken off all the wallpaper and I definitely noticed that this is layers upon layers of stuff that the previous owner did. But I think this is a good layer to keep it at and then putting a primer on top. I'm thinking that for this wall, I'm gonna do like a mural or like a collage or pictures with different frames. So stay tuned to see what I decide to do with this wall. But I have some great ideas. So if there are some imperfections on the wall, you won't really notice because there is gonna be stuff on it. So it's not gonna just be a blank canvas when you're walking in. It's gonna be more like a mural kind of situation that I'll try to figure out. But yeah, so that's done. Okay, sorry folks, I did not record me moving my one Rufidophore Tetrasperma because I am hyper-focused right now. We have successfully moved one of them. I will show you one of them in just a second and where I put it. This is the second one. This is the longer one. And it's hanging by a thread, literally, or two. So we are gonna move this one over to the bathroom as well. Okay, so here's the other Refritifora Tetrasperma. We managed to put it against the corner here with the pole, the bamboo post, and I hung it over the shower rod just so that it has a little bit of support. And we successfully moved it without breaking any pieces, so I'm so, so happy. Um, but now the true test is bringing in the other one. All right, folks, so we have officially moved the second Refidifor Tetrasperma. You may call me dramatic, but like that was hard. Super, super hard to move because it has so many vines. So it has one, two, three, uh, four coming down, and, but then it also has five and six over here, like smaller ones. So I have my caddy right there holding on to one of the vines and then two of the vines are being held from the shower pole or shower 
rod and there's one that's just going to be on the ground for a little bit which it is what it is but <laughs> this bathroom is officially out of commission good thing i have the ensuite bathroom and then the powder room as well so we have another shower for the next few days so i'm just happy that we were able to move this plant without breaking any pieces so just positive vibes and i'm so happy that this is over with because i was procrastinating big time to move these plants All right, folks, you're not gonna be able to see much because it's just dark and it's like midnight, but this whole wall has been primed and it's done. And then the whole room has been primed as well. And it's so bright in here. Like I'm so happy with the fact that I'm deciding to go with like something bright. So this is just the primer. So I can just imagine whatever color I decide is just gonna be so much brighter. I'm looking at the camera, it doesn't look like much, but um, hopefully, slow and steady, you're going to see the progress. Alright folks, so today is the day that the flooring goes down. There was a bit of a delay. This is probably, I think, two weeks later from the last clip. And something came up, so the project had to go on pause. But today's finally the day where the flooring goes down. Ah! I'm like so excited. The, anti the anticipation is so real just because of the delay and I don't know, I'm just so excited. But this is just an overview of what it looks like before. And we are doing the spare room too. So I figured I can also show this area. That's what it looks like now. But I love the color of this room. It's like an off white. I mean, on camera it doesn't look like much because it's just white, but, but yeah. So I'm just super excited for the transformation, especially my plant room. This is gonna turn into something. And yeah, I am definitely pumped to see the results. So. Come with me on this journey <laughs> and to making my plant room a dream um, and just making it look the best it can. So here it is one more time before the flooring goes down. Okay, are you guys ready? The floor is now down and installed. Look at that. Holy moly, what a difference. I'm gonna show you just the lower part here and then I'll kind of bring the camera up. But look at it. So here's what the room looks like right now. Look at that difference. Let me just back up. Oh my gosh. Looks so good. And then walking in, you see, we also have the same flooring in the other room right now. <laughs> Look how different, just because of the lighting. This is like a warm light bulb, that's a cool light bulb. So this is more true to the real color versus that. So 
ignore that one because we are going to change the lighting in the guest room. But look how nice this looks. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Okay, so sorry about the echo, obviously. There's nothing in here yet. We are going to actually move the couch first. So this is the before without the couch. And in three, two, one, ta-da! We now have a couch in here. I'm so excited. So my wheels are already turning with like what I can do with this space. I want to have like a nice backdrop if I want to record videos on the couch. Like I wanted to just look nice and you know not have to worry about moving stuff behind me so i may bring this couch in forward a bit and have like a shelf behind it that's the same level as the back of the shelf and then that way if there's plants or decor and stuff you just see it behind me but you don't see like a shelf or i was thinking like two skids could be a good idea and then i could hang plants and stuff like that on it i do have we just measured 11 inches on either side as well. So I could put, or probably will put plants on either side. So I can put shelves on this side, shelves on that side. And then my Scentsy grow lights are gonna be hanging from there and from there. So it's gonna be per a perfect setup for, you know, giving the plants more room to grow and not be so close to each other. But yeah, I'm just so excited. Makes me so happy. I'm thinking maybe like a nice rug or like some sort of table where it's not too tall, not too short, but you know, a good height where I could sit on the couch and pot up some plants. So I think that's gonna be something that will be more difficult to find because I want something specifically a certain height because this couch is a little lower. But anyways, that's something else that I have to look for. But Yes, I am so excited. Um, the lighting is not that accurate just because it is nighttime and I wanted to move some stuff out of our other rooms and into these rooms because now we can actually organize and move stuff around. So the I would say the couch is a true green, like an emerald green. And then obviously the floor is more of a warm wood light color. Um, off camera, or sorry, in the viewfinder, it does seem pretty accurate. It's just the couch looks a bit more mute or dull, I guess. I'm not too sure why, but it's a satin couch, suede couch type of fabric. So I guess that's why it's kind of hard to capture that on camera. But anyways, we are now going to move some stuff in the spare room, but I'm going to come back in just a moment to move my IKEA greenhouse cabinet. I can put a plant here in the corner. What I can do is I can put my uh, one of the refrigerators and have it go over maybe, mm -hmm. or like another plant that can go here because they could kind of use up that light. And then, okay, we got my cabinet in here, and I think this is where I'm gonna want to keep it. I'm still playing with the idea of putting it back into the closet like I did before if you watched my other IKEA greenhouse cabinet video which I can link in the description but I think just to use up the closet space in other ways like storage or if I want to put other plants in there like hanging plants because the sun does come into this room so I feel like I could use this space better but let me know what you think Right now, it's basically gonna be the first thing 
that you see when you walk in. So when you turn into the room, you'll see my IKEA greenhouse cabinet. And because I do have the two Fiat lights, uh, the LED lights, I can link those in the description if you wanna check them out. I've been using them since I've had the IKEA greenhouse cabinet or the Millsbo IKEA greenhouse cabinet. So they worked. My plants have loved them. So I wanted to take advantage of the fact that those plants will have light and ultimately I could put other, other plants around this area that may not have a light specifically for them, but I wanna use the natural light as much as possible. So anyways, let me know what you think. Like I said, if I think this is gonna be evolving and changing, but as of right now, this is where, it, where it's going to be and I'm going to put back the plants that I did have in there and then kind of work through the other plants as I go and as I move them into this room. Something I forgot to mention is that we did add these floor and surface savers protectors uh, at the bottom of each leg of the cabinet before moving it because I just didn't want to scratch my floors just in case and it just I just wanted to you know have an easy transfer so it definitely was a great idea and I would definitely recommend in putting these on even when you're installing it right away just so don't, you don't have to worry about it later but I would highly recommend purchasing these you could even just get them at the dollar store I got this big pack at Home Depot I believe but you can basically get them anywhere dollar store um, or whatever hardware store you have so I would highly recommend putting these on just to make it easier and to be able to move it around without any worry of, about your floors. Okay, I'm doing some cable management and all that stuff right now, which I figured I might as well share with you just so you see what I do. And just in case people do ask. So here's the cabinet and I actually ended up putting up the skid again. So if you watched my videos in the past, for the past couple of years, um, I've had this skid behind me in a lot of my videos uh, showing my plants, my tour here in the plant room. So I figured I'm going to keep this because I do love the idea of using this skid to hang plants and stuff. But anyways, there's a reason why I'm explaining that piece. So when you walk in, this skid does cover that piece of wall in the back. So with that being said, I decided to put the power bar on the wall with command strips and connect all of my stuff. So I made sure that the lights were facing outward and that the power cord was directed down, which will lead to this outlet here. But I, what I think I'm going to do is run it upward and use the skid to cover the extension cord because I do have two Scentsy Grow Lights that I love and I've been using for a very long time. They were the first grow lights that I used for this plant room. And I do have a affiliate link with them and a discount code. So I'll leave those in the description. I highly recommend them. You guys got to try them out. They are awesome. And I have my hooks up here. So one of them is going to hang right in front of this skid still like before. And the second one will hang right here, which I was just talking to my husband about that it will be awesome if I want to use the space on top of the cabinet. So if I do put plants on the cabinet, they will have that light bulb to work with. And then since I'm still going to use the skid, I will still have a light um, right in front of the skid. So that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, my husband is putting a light fixture in the guest room, so I will not have power for a little bit. So. Um, that's what I'm going to be doing right now and then I will show you once the plants are in the cabinet what the cabinet looks like. 
But for now, I'm just gonna put in the plants that I've had. So the ones I'm acc acclimating at the bottom and then some other ones at the top because I do have all my plants on the main floor and in the bathroom still. So yeah, so hopefully this works out. Let me know if you have any other suggestions, but I think it's pretty awesome that that power cord or the power bar is gonna be covered when you walk into the room. And then if I do have a plant here, if there are plants that are going upward or if I decide to put another piece of furniture here or a piece of wood. Anyways, there's the options are endless, but for now, this is what I have to work with and I'm excited. All right, let me uh, organize this cabinet. So today's goal is to focus on the shelving. That way I can start putting some more plants in this room. I do have a white shelving unit-ish that I'm going to put behind the couch, but I just need some supports in the middle because it's so long, I don't want it to start bowing. So there will be a shelf probably like from here to here behind the couch. And then I do have some spare wood pieces from a shelving project that I did a while ago if you watched some of my earlier videos, my first ever plant shelf that I put together. So I am gonna use or reuse that wood and cut a piece of wood that will fit the space from the wall to the trim here. I forget what the measurement was, but this will be one piece of wood, so one shelf. And then over here, I'm going to cut a piece of wood from the wall to the trim here. So this whole piece will be uh, a shelf to put plants. And I will have the Sensi grow lights hanging from those hooks. So this whole space will have sufficient amount of light and the ceiling light fixture, the lights actually face that wall. So it will have enough light throughout the winter because obviously right now the light is slowly changing. The sun's coming through this door and it probably covers this section of the room. So still enough light right now, I guess since we're here, I might as well show you this. I bought it at Home Depot, really good price. It was regular 260 or 280 and I got it for 120, I believe. And it is a really big cart. It has uh, wheels so I can move it around. I could lock it if I want to. Now, the only thing is, is that it looks bigger in this room than I thought it would, if that makes sense. So in Home Depot it looked smaller, but then I brought it here, I'm like, Wow, it's actually a decent size. So I'm not too sure if I'm actually gonna use it in this room or if I'm gonna swap the bar cart that I have on the main floor that's a dark wood color and it is a bit smaller. And then this could be the bar cart for the main floor just because I have a bit more of the gray tone on in the den because the couches are gray. Anyways, that's kind of a side conversation that I'm having out loud. But yeah, so this is super, super nice. I figured I could repot on here and when I'm recording or you know doing some plant chores i can actually move this in front of the couch and it fits my potting mat perfectly and then obviously at the bottom i can have all my supplies and stuff i can hang like a garbage bag or my like whatever tools off of this the posts on the side anyways i had some ideas with it but i like i said i don't know if i'm actually going to keep it in this room or put it somewhere else in the house I was also thinking that I could put it in the closet, but I don't know, it's such a nice piece that I just really want to figure out what to do with it. But anyways, I'm talking a lot now. So let's go ahead and cut those pieces of wood. 